Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back for my existing subscribers. And today I'm trying something new out. Uh, you saw that I posted a 60 second clip earlier of me messing around with the 4K 60 frames per second um, recording on the Xbox One X. So not a lot of people are, have been covering the enhancements that the Xbox One X brings to Rainbow Six Siege. So for anybody out there that's looking for that, I want to kind of shed some light on how much better this game runs on the Xbox One X versus my old console, which is the Xbox One S. Now, the first thing that I noticed is that the graphics were a little bit better. It's not leaps and bounds better, but it does end up being better than your base console. Now, another thing that I noticed is that the frame rate was a lot more stable when the game was trying even harder, uh, such as like explosions, when you reach, things like that. Um, when you use Buck Shotgun and blow up through, through the floor or blow up a wall, then it's a lot more stable in that aspect. The other thing too that I do like about this is that there was a lot of screen tearing that used to happen on the base Xbox One X and the Xbox One S. Now what that is is like a little wiggle of the screen, almost like as if it didn't refresh fast enough. And there was like a little ripple across the top and that would happen a lot. And I never saw it happen on my PS4, but on my Xbox One S, I would see it like uh, probably like two, three times a match where the top was kind of like just tearing along the top and it was annoying. Even when I went over and switched it to a hardwired because I thought it was my internet connection, kind of like a stutter or a lag. So I hardwired my internet in. It didn't really do much as far as that. The only thing it really stopped was the rubber banding. So I didn't really rubber band that much. Uh, the other enhancements that I did notice is in the DVR. So the DVR quality is a lot cleaner uh, because the actual gameplay is a lot more polished now. So overall, I do like the enhancements that they did with this console. Um, a lot of my other games that aren't optimized work a lot better as well. Um, I would definitely say that they were the experience before, because I just got a 4K TV. <clears throat> I just got a 4K TV for Black Friday. It was actually a monitor, but same thing. And I got to say that in the 1080p mode, I feel like the performance is a little bit better. And I just feel that it's because the console software isn't really that polished. Not to say that it's not good or a better experience than my old Xbox. It's just that when I was playing it on 1080p and versus when I switched it over to 4K UHD, the console, you know, it chugged along pretty smoothly and without much effort. But there were certain parts where when I was playing it on 1080p, I don't remember it being like that. So that may be a small thing to keep in mind, but nothing to deter you. So if I had to make the decision all over again, I would definitely jump all over it. You do get a little bit more benefit, as I said in a previous video, from having a 4K monitor or a 4K TV, such as being able to actually record in 60 frames per second in 4K. And then just the visuals, you get better visuals. Either way, on Rainbow Six Siege, because it's not an optimized game, you still get better visuals. So even if you only have a 1080p set for the better, just the better graphics overall, the enhancements there, and just a kick-ass console that just works overall better and is better than the previous one, I would say the Xbox One X is still something you should get. But that's just my opinion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This is this is the actual 60 second clip to finish off that I tested out. So I actually went ahead and added it back into this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. You guys take it easy.